What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm showing you guys my top three picks for free third-party VSTs. And yes, I said free. So first and foremost, Welcome back, hopefully everybody's doing okay. Now earlier this week I did a video where I made a beat using only stock sounds from Studio One Three, and it was really just to show that you don't really need expensive third party plugins in the beginning just to get you going. Now in my opinion, I think in the beginning it's far more important to use the resources that you have and really learn the craft. Nonetheless, let's say you're ready to move on from the sounds that come with your DAW, but you're not quite ready to spend some money yet, then this video's for you because I'm gonna be showing you guys my top three picks for free third party VST. Now the three criteria that I'll be using to judge or that I use to judge these plugins are one, a nice GUI or user interface. To me, this is super important because as producers, we're in front of desks and we stare at these things all the time. You at least want something that looks good. Two, we have presets. Now, some of us, we don't really want to get down to the nitty gritty and mess around with parameters and, and sound design. We really just want to get to work. So I made sure that these presets were decent enough to get you going. Now, they're not going to be perfect. They're still free VST, so we can't have too, too high of an expectation, but they at least have some decent presets for you to get you started and get you making some beats. And last but not least, we have ease of use because if you are one of those people that want to get down and start to design your own sounds, you want to make sure that it at least is easy for you to use and follow. But with that being said, let's dive right in and I'll show you guys what I got. Now, first on the list, we have Tyrell N6 by UHE. Essentially, if you take a look right off the bat, I love the look. I love the feeling I get when looking at this because it, it kind of feels and it looks like a module off a rack mount from a professional studio. You have the wood grain, you have like the handles and the screws here. So it makes it look really nice, something that I can really work with. Now I'm gonna go back and talk to you guys about the different parameters in a minute. But as far as the presets go, if you take a look here, all you have to do is click and they give you a list of kind of things to go through. Now this isn't everything. You can kind of use the arrows here to kind of toggle through a bunch of different other presets, but I have it on one now that I was playing around with and that I really liked. It's called the Influx Pad and it sounds like this. So um, if you've been following me, you know that I love to use pads. This one is really nice. Other options include like electric pianos, road style pianos, like this one here, the Whirly EP. So there is a bunch of different options for you guys, but I really, really love this one. Now, as far as the parameters go, if you take a look, top left, we have the oscillator modulation kind of area. To the right, we have the oscillators and you do have two to play around with. In the middle, you have a mixer. And what's really cool about this is that you can kind of adjust how much of each oscillator you want in the final sound. You can also mess around with the, the sub, the noise, the feedback, and, and just so much more. Now over to the right, we have that filter section. This is kind of where you would do your low pass, high pass, you know, filters. So you have a bunch of things to play around with. And then at the bottom, we have the LFOs and the envelopes. Again, Super simple to use. I think for anybody who's used to messing around with, you know, the parameters on synthesizers, this is nothing crazy and, and it's really good to look at again. So this one gets my seal of approval. I would definitely go pick it up. Now, next on our list, we have the Ample Bass P2 Lite by Ample Sounds. As you can see, this is a live bass emulation. Now, taking a look at this real quick, I love the user interface. I love that bass in the middle with the cherry red. It looks like a regular Fender bass that we're used to seeing. Now, obviously this has no presets because it's just a bass emulation. Emulation. However, it sounds really, really good. The one that I currently use is by Native Instruments. It comes in like the complete 10 bundle, I think, but this one comes really, really close. Now taking a listen real quick, this is what it sounds like. So as you can see, if you're trying to have a live bass feel on your beats, this is definitely something that you should cop. Now moving on down real quick to the parameters. Nothing crazy here. You do have the option to add auto hammer-ons, auto slides, turn that off. You could do like a keyboard mode where you can play more than one note at the same time like you would in a keyboard, or you can kind of leave it standard in solo mode where you would just play one like if you would be playing a bass. And then of course you have like a hold pedal. 
if you want to do some of that. And then at the bottom, of course, you have some, you know, basic parameters as far as auto buzz effects and articulation. As you can see, this plugin is really straightforward, but really, really powerful. Personally, I'm of the opinion that nothing can replace the feeling, the sound of a live instrument. I mean, having someone, and I've done it before, I've had someone come in here before to record bass for a beat that I was playing, and, and something like that, the energy that you get from someone playing their instrument will never, you know, kind of beat something like this. However, if you don't have a friend who plays bass, if you don't have a bass yourself, this is a really good free alternative. Now, last but not least, we have the Helm by Mike Titel or Title. I really don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, but this is what it looks like. Now, I'll be honest, out of the ones that I just showed you, or really out of the first one, the, the Tyrell N6, this one probably has the lesser quality presets, but the reason I, I picked it and the reason it's in this video is because of how powerful it is if you do want to get down to mess around with some of the parameters, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. Now right off the bat, this is grayish, but it's it's so easy to manipulate, and I'm, I'm always going to gear towards something that has graphical representations of the knobs that I'm turning. I'm really not a fan, it's even like with EQs, I'm not a fan of using certain plugins that don't show me what I'm doing. Like you could throw at me a super renowned EQ like a like a Poltec or something like that, but I very rarely use those because I like to see what I'm doing. I like to tweak graphs. That's just kind of how my mind works. And this is exactly what this plugin gives you. So if you take a look, you can mess around with the waveforms for the oscillators simply by clicking on, on them. You can mess around with the amplitude and filter envelopes by you know dragging these out. You really don't have to mess with these knobs if you don't want to. You can simply mess around with the waveform itself. Same thing for the modulation envelope. It has a step sequencer if you want to kind of program some things here yourself the filter you know curve here kind of looks like your regular eq you get to move this around and mess around with the frequencies you have delays reverbs distortion you even have like a stutter option so this is a real reason why i picked it like i said i'm going to show you guys some presets they're not too great they're definitely geared more towards like um electronic music they're very synthy but i i think for what it's worth you can really get down to the if you really want to use this for you know, sound creation. Anyway, checking out the sounds real quick. If you press this little button up here, you'll be brought up to a menu of different presets. I'm gonna go ahead and pick keys real quick, see what those sound like. Let's go over to pads. So as you can see, the presets are not that great, especially compared to the ones from the Tyrell N6. However, like I said, I, I really picked this because of the power that it has for you to kind of create your own sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a lead real quick. Yeah, let's pick that one. I'll show you guys what I mean. So, I'm playing a C note right now from that lead. I'm gonna keep that pressed. I can select different oscillator waves, and then I can pick how much of that oscillator I want. I can kind of have it more towards the one on the left, more towards the one on the right, or dead center to kind of get a good blend. I can mess around with the the filter. I can mess around with the stutter. Take off the distortion. Mess around with the delay, the reverb, the envelopes. The aftertouch, the modulation wheel, the pitch wheel. So 
So, I mean, this is kind of even fun to mess around with. Um, I really enjoy this plugin. Again, I don't think the presets are the best. However, it looks really nice. And if you're looking for something that you can kind of maybe, you know, tweak around, maybe learn some sound design, this is definitely something that I would look into because it is super fun. And that, in essence, are my picks for top three free third-party VSTs. Now, I'm sure there's an array of different ones out there, and if you know of some, let me know down below. Share them with everybody. Hopefully, we can all just, you know, help each other out, especially if you're trying to get, you know, started into making beats. But out of the ones that I tried, and I tried a bunch, these were my top favorite picks. We had the Tyrell N6 by UHE. We had the Ample Bass P2 Lite by Ample Sounds. And then, of course, we have this thing, The Helm by Mike Title or Titel. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. But I will see you guys on the next one.